Hello my fine pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design and today we're going to talk about all the different places that you can get planner stickers. Now I'm going to go over, I think there's 10 different things in here, different places that you can buy planner stickers. There are going to be more but I want to talk about the 10 basic places. All right, so when we think of planner stickers, we're usually thinking of planner books. Now, to buy these, the first place that most people are gonna think of is craft stores. So you're thinking about craft stores are like Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, places like that. And there are, I know that there are some smaller ones. Uh, ours have closed, like some places you can still find like scrapbooking stores and stuff, and like little mom and pop, like smaller, smaller shops, but ours are all closed where we are, but we, I still have a Joann's, I still, I have a Hobby Lobby, like I never used to, but I have a Hobby Lobby now, and I've got kind of a Michaels, but I want to say, if you're going to a craft store, don't just think about this, don't just think about your happy planner and your sticker books, go outside of there and actually look at the scrapbook stickers, look at the kids stickers, look outside of planner stickers. That is what I will say, look outside of planner sticker books. Go and have a little peruse around the whole of the craft store, you never know what you might find. Whether that is scrapbook paper, stamping and other things that you can use in your planners. All right, the second place when we think about our planner supplies and planner stickers is office supply stores. So if you have an Office Depot, an Office Max, a Staples or something like that or other office supply store, depending on where you live, then check out those because not only do they have your happy planner type stuff, they also kind of tend to have other brands. Whether that is that you're picking up stuff from Tool, the Arc brand, Martha Stewart, I believe there's another one. Oh, there's Levinger Discs as well. But sticker wise, there's another brand and I can't think what it is. There's Martha Stewart and another one. Yep, I'm forgetting, I'm blanking on that. But yeah, there's another one that I've seen in Staples. So yeah, that's another thing that you should check out. Check out your office supply stores. It's also a great place to pick up other things while you're in there. So the third place that you're gonna find planner stickers is online. Now, when we think about online, I'm gonna include Amazon, the Happy Planner site, things like that. Again, maybe it's your craft stores online. So there's other things online. Don't just think about, oh, you have to buy a Happy Planner book. If you look on Amazon, there are tons of this kind of thing in sheets. Like there, if, if you're on a budget, go to Amazon and just buy something cheap on Amazon. So yeah, look at Amazon. And especially if you are looking for, <laughs> I'm gonna say weird crafting supplies, like these stitch stickers were an Amazon order. They were like $5 for 50 stickers. So yeah, look on Amazon. Sometimes you can get good deals on Happy Planner stuff. I found books on Amazon for like $12 before. So yeah, they do have good deals. And the Happy Planner site, you know, they have good deals on too occasionally. Your craft stores, they will again do good deals on stuff and sometimes you can get free shipping. So yeah, sign up for that and make sure that you're using your coupons and you're taking advantage of the sales. The fourth place that you can get planner stickers is your big box stores. And I'm talking about like your Walmart, your Target, maybe you've got a Kmart near you. I don't know if, if Kmart even exists anymore. But yeah, like your, your big box stores, like thinking about... Um, the Walmart and the Nightmare Before Christmas books, Target, but also going again outside of, go outside of the craft aisle, go outside of the Happy Planner stuff and into the stationary area. Think about your back to school stuff. Go into the greeting card area and the gift bag area and pick up some stuff from there because sometimes, especially this time of year, so sometimes I'll have the little envelope seals, they're like little circle stickers that have like a Christmas design on them, put those in your planner. Look outside of the craft area, go to the kids section, go to the stationery section, go to the gift card section. 
go outside of the craft area because there's sometimes a world of wonders in those stores. The fifth place that you're going to find planner stickers is your grocery store. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the hell? If you go to your gift card area, the gift area, you will find all of the gift cards on the wall. But usually there's like a little section, a little a little bit where there are small stickers. And that is where you'll find things like these, the little Dalmatians on this one. I found those at Ralph's in the greeting card aisle. Sometimes they'll do like Harry Potter stuff. Sometimes you'll find like regular little dots and stuff. You can pick up things like these. These are great for redating your planner. You can find things like these, like your Avery label stuff. These are great to use in your planner too. All right, the sixth place that you can find planner stickers is your budget stores. Now I'm kind of using it budget stores and I'm going to include the 99 cent store, like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, places like that. I'm thinking about Ross, TJ Maxx, your places, your discount stores. Now, again, 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 think outside the craft aisle. Think about stationery. Think about your home goods section because these type of things might not be in the stationery aisle. They might be in the home goods aisle or the like the DIY aisle and stuff like that. So think about that too. And I've said this before, but also the Dollar Tree wall decals are so good. So, so good. So think about those too. The seventh place that you're going to find planner stickers is Etsy. If you're looking for something outside the box, Etsy is the place to go because you're going to find something that is just like, if, if you're thinking, okay, there's no way that they're going to do a planner sticker for that, you can find it on Etsy, pretty, pretty much guaranteed. So yeah, think about Etsy. And also at the same time, you're supporting like small shop owners. I do have an Etsy store. So if you're looking to support a small shop, check out my link in the description. Shameless plug. Okay, the eighth place that you're going to find planner stickers, and this one is a little bit of a cop out, but shop your own stash. Do you really need new planner stickers? I mean, do any of us really, but shop your stash. Kind of go back and dig through your piles of stuff and maybe you'll find something that you didn't even know you had. Shop your stash. And that's something that we'll be doing more of in 2023. And yes, I want to be kind of a little bit more proactive in helping people use, use their planner stickers. All right, number nine is going to be make your own. I've done a few Canva tutorials, and especially if you have a Cricut, I've done a few Canva tutorials. I will link them here and in the description. Make your own stickers. Like seriously, if, you, if, you're, if you're even the slightest bit, either tech savvy, computer savvy, or anything like that, make your own stickers. All right, the 10th one is gonna be, do they even need to be stickers? Just use whatever you have. Can you make do with pens and stencils and stuff like that? And if you're not sure how to decorate without stickers, I have a video about that that I will link here, but there are tons of ways to decorate your planners without stickers. So do you even need stickers? Really, does it need to be a sticker? All right, and I'm gonna throw in a bonus one, and that is if you are on a vacation or something, look in your gift shops because typically they will have some kind of sticker or something that you're supposed to put on a car or something like that. Like, you know, I picked one up that had a London Underground on it, like the little London Underground sticker. And yeah, you can generally find stuff like that in gift shops. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.